Hello and welcome to another video. It has been quite a while since my last video. I apologize for that. I've not been very consistent and going by my own advice. So um, here I am back again with a very exciting video. So before I get into a little bit of an update about what I've been doing, I want to explain what I'm doing in this video because I've been working on some very exciting things in my artistic practice and in my education and you know academic side of things as well. So um, one of the big things that I am learning is paint making and paint making is such an art. It is so much fun uh, and also a lot of work and a lot of research and I'm doing part of my paint making practice for a class at Penn State. Um, that's not specifically for paint making but that's like a personal project that I'm pursuing as part of the coursework. Um, <laughs> classwork, coursework, I kind of combine those words there. But, so that's what I've been doing. And in this video, I'm making my very first batch of paint, which is a very simple oil paint recipe with linseed oil and vine black pigment, which you'll see. And vine black literally is basically ground charcoal, um, to put it very simply, but it's very finely ground. And I have some pre-processed vine black um, as like an experiment. And you'll see me playing with like mixing things and I actually recently purchased this um, paint making set from um, Earth Pigments that is fabulous and I will link it down below. It is like some of these things I had already or like you know had similar things but I wanted a kit that was all together that had just about everything that I needed to get started because I had none of these other paint making materials on hand and I wanted to have a specific set for this because it is a class project but I will go ahead and link all the supplies that I'm using in this video down below if you're interested um, I will say right off the bat that I am NOT an expert I am literally just starting to learn this and I'm kind of learning by doing <laughs> because <laughs> I mean I've watched a lot of videos and read a lot of blogs and stuff and while I do tend to like the research side of it for this particular project I think that I just wanted to jump in and just do it and just see how I like it because I'm very specific with my materials and I'm very picky with the stuff that I use uh, so making a material that I plan to use um, you know not just make to make it but also to use it it kind of is more practical for me to just do it and figure it out that way so if you see if you see anything wrong with my process I do appreciate like comments at you know constructive criticism if there's something that you think that I should be doing or something go ahead and put that in the comments that's fine but like uh, just so you know I'm not a professional and I'm not gonna post like the recipe that I'm using because I don't even think it's really proper like there's other things that I wish I would have added to this batch in hindsight and maybe I'll do a video later on about the oil painting paint making process and like what I learned from it um, which maybe it'll definitely be up on my Patreon, but I maybe put, will put that on YouTube as well just to have like a little series because um, I know there's some YouTubers that put some awesome videos out there. But my goal with my paint making is to actually learn to make watercolors. So I'm starting out with oils because it's a little bit simpler as far as the recipe and, you know, as far as what you need. <laughs> But my main goal is to go ahead and make watercolors because watercolor it has been my primary medium and is my love. It is my passion medium for sure. So that's the goal with that. And I recently made my first watercolor binder and I will give a shout out to Arla Bean here on YouTube. And she also is on Patreon. I'm a patron of hers. Um, she's awesome. But she posted some videos about her process of making handmade watercolors. And like I've loved all of those vlogs. And so that recipe, I will say, um, coming up came from her video. Um, but that's not going to be in this video. This is just the oil painting one. But stay tuned because I will probably film at least most of that process. But that's my goal with the starting with oil painting um, and making oil paints because it's a little bit simpler in the recipes, a little bit simpler as far as the things that you need. Um, so I just wanted to start with something simple and a lot of this footage is actually cut out too. Like I was mulling um, this paint a lot longer than what you see in the video and obviously I sped up and cut out you know, boring parts and stuff for YouTube but I wanted to keep it um, pretty short so I ended up not filming the entire thing. I did film like the last test and there's a couple other mullings I did after that because um, and you'll see this later on in the video when I do those tests is that it's very chalky and very like granulating but not in a good way. <laughs> it was starting to separate a little bit so I ended up mulling that for like another hour 
Um, so, but total time of this, I'll say, was about two hours, maybe a little more than that, mulling. Um, mulling and prepping and, you know, everything. So that, it doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're there grinding it, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite a bit of work for my wrist. <laughs> but it's so much fun and so relaxing. So yeah, it's been interesting learning this very interesting art form. There's so there's so much to it that I'm very excited to get into, uh, especially when I start getting into making watercolors, which I will definitely film and record and post for you guys to see as well, because I know it's really fun to watch. <laughs> but yeah, eventually um, I'm working on a I'm working on an uh, actual update video for you guys because a lot has been happening. But I feel like for today's video, we're just going to have a very chill rest of this time lapse so you can see kind of where my paint went and I did some sampling at the end of actually using it. But anyway guys, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.